Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at a new release from Spinnaker Watches. So I've, uh, I've been reviewing Spinnaker Watches for a few years now, and they've definitely come up in the game. Uh, they're producing a lot better quality watches with nice bracelets and a lot better specifications now. So I'll definitely take a look at their website after this if you're interested in this model. This is the SP5085-22, the Spinnaker Fluce Chronograph Edition. Now there is a Spinnaker Fluce as well, I did review a straight dive watch. Uh, but I think, I think this is a pretty unique watch, uh, it's pretty cool, obviously a little 50 Fathoms bezel inspired, but pretty much its own thing. It's a uh, pretty hefty, not hefty, but it has a nice weight to it, I really like that on the bracelet. And um, you can always save 20% with code WA20, so definitely do that, definitely helps out the channel. Now, uh, this model comes in a few different variations, which um, you can check out on their website as well. This is the green dial variation, and I've actually never owned a green dial watch, so this is kind of a first, you know, first for me. I think it's pretty cool. You know, you see all the Rolex green dialed watches, which look really nice, and um, this one is no exception from Spinnaker. So, the case itself is pretty much all brushed besides these chamfered edges on the top or the side of the lugs, you can see. It's all housed in... Um, a 316L solid uh, stainless steel case, as you can see here. And it has some nice specifications. It is 43 millimeters in terms of diameter. It is 13 millimeters thick, so it's really all not that big, as you can see. And the lugs do curve down slightly towards the end of your wrist there, so it really fits my 6.75 inch wrist just fine. This watch is $315 from Spinnaker, but with the code, I believe it's like 270 or so. Um, so that's what you can expect to pay, and international shipping is free as well, which is always nice. It comes in the standard box, which I've showed in several of my videos. You can always check those videos with a Spinnaker polishing cloth and your warranty. Now, uh, this watch is obviously a chronograph. It's running the Seiko Mecha Quartz Movement with a uh, double date over here, which is pretty cool. I'll show you how that functions in a little bit. We get a nice 120 quick... 120-click uh, acrylic bezel, which is also fully loomed, as well as... Uh, all of the numerals, the smaller numerals, the hands, and ev even the subdial hands are loomed as well, which is pretty nice. Now, uh, a nice little detail they did on this watch. Uh, so you have the pushers over here for the chronograph, start, stop, reset. Here's your screw down crown. We get 150 meters of water resistance, so definitely can take this one in the water. The lug width is also standard at 22 millimeters, so you should have no issue changing straps if you wanted to put this one on a different strap. Now this is the bracelet option with this really nice H-Link uh, polished, I should say brushed, it is polished on the underside a little bit over here, but it's completely brushed on the tops, it's a very nice bracelet, it's using the pin system which some of you might not agree with, but I think it works just fine for this price point. Now, the Seiko Mech Quartz Movement functions sort of like an automatic movement and a quartz movement, if you didn't know that. So we get an automatic sweep of the chronograph second hand, but we get that quartz accuracy, as you can see in this subdial down at the 6 o'clock position, is ticking away here. We also do get a 24-hour subdial at the right, then you have your 60-minute countdown on the left over at 9 o'clock. So, and then we get, of course, your double date with a white background, which is extremely legible below the 12 o'clock position. Now, they did put screw-down pushers on this watch, which is very nice. So you can start the chronograph, screw it down, then go underwater with it, which is uh, pretty cool. Kind of like the Rolex Daytona has these screw-down pushers, this one does as well. Now, we do get a genuine sapphire crystal with AR coating, as you can see here. It's very legible, really helps keep out the sunlight, and you get a nice view of the uh, time, pretty much uh, even if the light's directly on it. You can see that blue here right now. You see that? That's the AR coating. Always good to have that on your crystal. Coming in a little closer on the dial, we have this kind of rough uh, gr gradient green color here, which is pretty cool. We have a smoother green for the acrylic bezel. It says Spinnaker, uh, 150 meters. And then we get your hands here, which are, we have a sword hand and a yeah, pretty much sword hands here, which are brushed and filled with loom. Um, the loom is pretty good on this one. I will get you a loom shot. We have, and the text is also orange. The spinnaker is applied below 12. And um, let me show you these pushers. So there, you unscrew these. So I've gone ahead and unscrewed the two pushers, as you can see here. Now I can start the chronograph. As you can see, you get that nice smooth sweep of the orange chronograph hand, which is pretty nice, going around the dial there. Then you just stop it, and you can reset with the bottom one, and it flies right back. Pretty simple. You get a one-hour countdown. Then when you're done with that, for the water resistance, you want to make sure these are both screwed back down. And that's pretty much it. The crown itself is signed with the Spinnaker Mainsail logo, as you can see here. And it does have some very nice grip. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew it. The crown is screwed down as well, which is very nice. Your first position. 
as you can see, we get a nice quick set date, and it's going to jump. So once it hits 19, then they're both going to jump to 0. How cool is that? I think that's pretty cool. In your final position, you can hack the seconds down here and set the time precisely. So very easy to use, very easy to function for anyone from, you know, a beginner in collecting watches to someone who's, you know, experienced in collecting watches. But definitely a very fun watch for the summer. Definitely a very fun beach watch, a pool watch, or something of that nature. The bezel also has some decent grip over here. You also get a second look at the brushed finish on the sides of the case here. And the bezel action is very good. There's really eh, a slight back play, but nothing really major. And everything functions pretty good here. You can definitely time up to 60 minutes on here as well, while you're, while you're timing 60 minutes on the chronograph. Now looking at this H-Link bracelet, it's uh, very nice. It's very flexible. And it's very nicely done, as you can see of that H pattern. We do get solid end links. Uh, we do get a nice clasp here, signed with the Spinnaker logo, which is nice. Flips open, two uh, buttons here. You get three micro adjustments, and then you also do get a diver's extension, which I thought was pretty cool. I haven't seen that yet on these Spinnaker watches. So that's always cool if you want to throw it over a suit or something like that. Nice, real milled clasp. Very nice. Snaps down nice and tidy. Very secure. And everything is uh, pretty good. Now, taking a look at the case back on this watch, it is screwed down with the Spinnaker mainsail and logo. Just some basic specifications there. You can get a glimpse of the solid end links, uh, which is very nice there as well. There's the watch on my 6.5 inch wrist, and as I stated, it is 43 millimeters, but it wears really compact to the wrist. As you can see here, uh, side to side, it just fits my wrist nicely. It rides really close to the wrist. Um, probably can even fit under a shirt there if you really wanted it to. And the bracelet's definitely very comfortable. I like these little areas that come out here, these little square rectangle areas that come out for the H-Link. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but nonetheless, definitely looks pretty nice on the wrist. Definitely a more sporty, casual watch than a dress watch, I'd say. Um, but let's take a look at the loom and see what they did on this one. So here's a little loom shot for you guys. And as you can see, it does glow green on the hands, on the bezel itself, on the numbers as well, and of course on all the markers. And the loom is definitely pretty potent. I wouldn't say it's super, super, super potent, like, you know, some crazy dive wash. But as you can see here, as it gets darker right now, it's pretty decent loom. And it's definitely very legible at night. I think it's just good enough for the style of watch. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the new Spinnaker Fluce. What do I think of this watch? I think it's pretty cool. It has has a real solid feeling to it with the bracelet. I'm not sure about the one with the strap option. I think that one's a little bit cheaper, actually. Uh, so you might want to check that out. The bracelet are the new bracelets are pretty decent, I think, from Spinnaker. And uh, yeah, I definitely dig the bracelets. If you're a bracelet guy, you know what I'm talking about. You're definitely going to want it on the bracelet. I think it's well put together. Uh, the movement is good, you know, it has a long battery life, it's extremely accurate. You get that smooth sweep of the chronograph, but the reliability of a quartz movement and the accuracy of a quartz movement, which is always welcome in my book. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. I really didn't find any errors, quality control issues, or anything like that on my model here. So I can't really say anything bad about that. The finishing is pretty decent, everything functions, nice bracelet. And uh, yeah, I can definitely recommend this one, especially in this green color. I think this is the one to get. This one is really popping in this green. I really do enjoy that. Anyway, guys, definitely leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. You can definitely check out the links in the description. They are very helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.